All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 22. All right. So within our loop, we need to check if the character in str array at index i is not a plus, a minus, or a space. If it's not, we're going to push it to the clean string array, right? So we're going to need to check if the array uh, plus, minus, or space, all in strings, uh, does not include the current character. We can use a combination of the includes method and the not operator to do this. So the includes method returns true if the array contains the character and false if not. The logical not operator will return the opposite of the value in the includes method, all right? So here's an example. We've got const numbers array equals this array right here, and then const number equals six. So we'll do this. If the opposite of numbers array dot includes the number, we'll, go, we'll uh, what are we gonna do? Well, console.log, the number is not in the array, right? So since six is included in the opposite of this thing, right? Uh, which means anything but this, it will, uh, it's going to return true, right? So let's come down here to the for loop. So what we're going to do here is we're going to check if the character in string array at index i is not one of these, right? So we'll do an if statement to start off with. We'll say if, we'll say if like this, and then we'll do the uh, parentheses. And so now we're going to do the uh, not operator and we're checking this array that we're going to make. We're going to do the uh, plus sign, the minus sign in the space. So we'll do string plus comma, whoops, whoops, comma, string minus, and then we're going to do uh, string space, string space like that. So if the opposite of this dot includes, and then we'll have inside of these parentheses, uh, str at array, pardon me, str array at the current index, what it's going to do, what we're going to do is going to, whoa, whoa, whoa. what we're going to do is uh, something, right? So basically that's, oh yeah, we're going to push, uh, we're going to push it into clean string array. So we'll say clean string array. Let's just take this. Dot push. Dot push. Uh, str array at the current index, right? So it's going to go through whatever's uh, the string that goes in here. Like, let's say, uh, let's do the function call we're at while we're at it. No, we can't do that right now. Let's do, okay, so after this for loop, let's do a, uh, no, 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 no. Let's do a console.log, console.log, clean string array, clean string array, all right? So let's come over here and let's run this thing. Uh, let's get this. And then let's put, uh, this in there and then let's put also like plus space blah 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 and then plus minus space blah blah blah, blah, blah. uh and then let's come over to the console all right so it puts everything except for the spaces does it put the uh semicolon it puts the semicolon in there but it doesn't put the spaces or the pluses and the minuses in there right so it works so let's check the code looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 23, and we'll see you next time.